We all want to broadcast our views, share our opinions, and have our voices heard in order to change the world, right? Stop. Rewind that. Before you can even start thinking of thinking of any of that, you need to have a voice. And I don't just mean voice as the audible sounds that people make, but as the quality, delivery, and intent of those sounds that people make. Just your voices can control others. I don't mean hypnotize them. What I mean is the way you utilize your voice determines how people perceive you. Listen. Listen. Do you feel the difference? Seven seconds. Research shows that seven seconds is all it takes to gain or lose someone's trust and credibility. How does this work? How is that possible, right? It's all about tone, pitch, loudness, and inflection of your voice. These are the factors that tell if the listener is going to trust you or not. Interestingly, a study shows that 75% of women were more inclined to have short-term relations with men who had deeper voices. Now, boys, that doesn't mean going around and be like, hey, girls, hey, girls, because you're just going to get mocked. Do you know what else gets mocked? Your voices. People undermine them so much. These days, when someone speaks good, intellectual, articulate English, they're referred to as being white, nerdy, wet. I know a very educated teacher, and I sometimes hear students say ignorant things about him, like, oh, this guy is so posh. He always speaks so sophisticated. And it saddens me so much to see that my fellow teenagers don't fully acknowledge this powerful skill that they possess. Because the misconception that speaking intellectually is wet or nerdy only hinders us from achieving our full potential. We all want to be successful, right? Raise your hand if you want to be successful. We all do. I want to be successful. And we have role models that we look up to. Tell me, is your role model shy to speak? Or is your role model scared of expressing their opinions? Most likely no, right? That's because they understand and take advantage of this very powerful skill that they possess. And that's one of the main reasons for their success. And it can be for yours too. You'll never see a journalist come up to the screen and be like, um, so the news today, it might, it, might, it might be rainy, it might not, just make sure you're ready. Yeah, You're never going to see that, right? What I really want to get across is that your voices are so valuable. They're like really valuable gold which you just so effortlessly have. And you didn't have to buy this gold, you've just had it from the day you were born. This gold, my friends, is so valuable that you can do anything with it. Even the great Martin Luther King said, our lives begin to end the moment we become silent about the things that matter. So please don't ignore your voice.